In this demonstration, we're going to show a more automatic indexing capabilities of Capture Pro software, but instead of barcode indexing, we're going to show zonal OCR on the fly uh, during scanning. So just like, like barcode indexing, we can also perform zonal OCR, again, all done on the fly during scanning, not needed to be done as a separate process on a separate server, etc. This makes Capture Pro software very, very easy to deploy because everything is done on the fly during scanning on that, that single scanning workstation. So to start out, I'm going to click, click on the new batch button. And I'm going to be choosing the job called uh, Health Claims with Patch Codes. Now you'll notice that the screen layout automatically changes to match what I've configured for this health claims job. And when I scan documents in, uh, we're going to be performing zonal OCR on the fly during scanning. We're not only going to show the images, so we can check image quality on the fly, but we'll also show the results of the indexing that's being performed in this index window on the right hand side. Now the other thing we're doing in, in this particular job is we're taking advantage of a couple key capabilities of uh, Kodak scanners. And that is the ability to perform uh, dual stream scanning, which is simultaneous color and black and white scanning, but also electronic color dropout. Uh, and the electronic color dropout really uh, makes it much easier to perform accurate zonal OCR processing because uh, it, it eliminates the form and the lines on the form etc that, that makes things a, a lot easier from an indexing standpoint. So you'll see here that we have uh, successfully captured the patient name uh, Cheryl Chase so if we click on the magnifying glass tool here and we kind of zoom in you'll see that we've uh, successfully captured the patient name using zonal OCR again on the dropped out black and white image, which is where we actually perform the, the zonal OCR, you can see that it's clean, uh, you know, a, a black and white image that makes it easier to perform that uh, zonal OCR. We've also grabbed the employer name, which is located down here, uh, Daniel's associate, as well as the insurance plan. And then the receipt date index field over here is just the uh, system date. So the, the benefit of doing dual stream scanning is we were able to perform all of the necessary zonal OCR processing on the, the black and white images, which is going to be much more accurate and much faster. But then the color images can then be sent to the downstream system. Uh, because the, for, especially for, for uh, regulatory and compliance reasons, especially in the health claims industry, uh, you want to have the original uh, document that, that was scanned, not anything that, that may have been altered, such as electronic color dropout here. So the, again, the, the electronic color dropout is used for the, the zonal OCR indexing, but we still preserve the original color document for the, the downstream system. So to complete this demo, I purposely left out the patient address field. I, I, I could have captured that field through Zonal OCR, but I purposely uh, left it out uh, to, to show you some other indexing capabilities that that can be performed post-scanning. So if I go into the thumbnail viewer here, I can quickly kind of navigate to the beginning of the batch and I can quickly navigate to the first uh, document in the batch. The other thing that I can do in the thumbnail viewer to make sure that I'm clicking on, on the right image is if I if I click on the image and hold my mouse, I can also zoom in on that thumbnail image to know that, that this is the one, the particular document that, that I'm interested in, in, in navigating to. So as you can see here, I have a patient address field that, that's not a required field. That hasn't, I've set up this job so it's, it's not going to flag this as, as an invalid index field, but I can still go in and complete my indexing post scanning. So I can go to the index menu and click on edit index fields or I can press just the E key on my keyboard all right, because the, the, there's a shortcut for that or we also have an icon in, in the menu for edit index fields. So lots of different ways depending on how your end users want to be able to uh, perform a, a certain function. So I'm going to click on the edit index fields button and this is going to throw me into indexing mode Note that there's a different screen layout for indexing mode, and I have set up what are called zoom zones. So as I tab from field to field, I can, you know, automatically have the image viewer navigate or zoomed in to a particular portion of the document. So I'm going to tab back to the patient address field, 
And I can either key this data in, or I can use a feature in Capture Pro software called drag and drop OCR, which is especially useful for things like addresses and things like that. So this is the drag and drop OCR button. And in lieu of keying that data in, I can just take my mouse and drag it over the particular data of interest, and it'll automatically read that and index the document. Now again, I could have done this through, just like I captured the patient name and the employer and the insurance plan, I did that through zonal OCR. I could have uh, just as easily captured the, the patient address through a zonal OCR as well. So then I'm going to click on the next document button, or I can hit the enter key either way, because uh, I've configured this job to uh, navigate to the next document whenever I click on the enter key. As you can see, if I go to the index menu, the enter key behavior is configured for next document. So I click on the next document, navigate to the next document in the batch, do drag and drop OCR, and continue indexing. So I can continue to do that for all of the documents that make up this batch. When I'm done, I can click save and exit and go back to my main screen. Now the next key thing to, to demonstrate here is the output capabilities of Capture Pro software. You've successfully captured all of this metadata either through key data entry or drag and drop OCR and, or, and in our case uh, zonal OCR on the fly uh, during scanning and, and you want to use that metadata, right? So we have lots of output capabilities in Capture Pro software. We, we can output to digital document management or content management systems such as SharePoint, uh, Documentum, and I can output not only the images but also the, the metadata associated with it so I can easily retrieve those documents in my downstream system. If you don't have a content management system you can also create an on disk structure that will allow you to very easily retrieve your documents and I can use that metadata, that index data that I've captured to create my output structure and that's what I'm going to show you here in this particular job. So I'm going to click on the output button. Now the output in Capture Pro software is always done in the background so I can continue scanning and being productive at my scanning workstation while the output is being performed in the background. So when I click on output there's actually another task that's running and if I click there's an icon here called view batch output status Capture Pro batch status and you'll see that the output is being performed on this batch. It's currently processing batch health to zero. It's now done processing but, but you can see that this particular window which is available on every Capture Pro workstation you can kind of see the status of the background batch processing that is taking place. I'm going to exit out of this window now. So for this particular job all of the output was done to a directory called C colon health claims and you'll see I've configured the output to use the metadata that I captured through zonal OCR. So the first thing I told it to do was to create a subdirectory for, for the employer. All right, so it created a subdirectory for each employer. So if I go into the Amity Power directory, so you'll see here that we have a, a subdirectory for the, the patient name, Aaron Eisner, who works for, for Amity Power. And then in the patient name uh, directory, I created the output PDF file using the receipt date, which is today's date, September 4th, uh, 2009. So you can see that we've used the, the metadata all right, that we captured through zonal OCR processing to be able to create a very nice uh, directory structure that will allow this end user to be able to retrieve their, their health claim documents. And that's it for this demonstration.